I have realized that the expectations that you have towards a man and a woman is not always equal. There are still barriers within the progress that can be made in a personal and professional career within uh, age and gender and nationality. But for some people, it's fuel. I'm going to show them. For me, it's drive to break down those barriers and help them come down. These expectations, we just have to fight them and try to ignore them and try to support each other. Here in our class, it's many more women than men. So that's inspiring. Many women are studying medicine. Many women are, are moving forward. I was thinking about the discussion I had with my daughter. And I, I, I told her that, uh, you know, I, I haven't had that many difficulties as a woman. And then she said, you are so spoiled, mom. And I said, what are you talking about? Why, why am I so spoiled? Do you realize all the females paving the way for you to sit here and just enjoy being a female scientist? And that was an eye-opener for me because I know that there has been so many women in Norway fighting for equal rights that I don't even know about the problems. It doesn't matter where, where else you are, uh, what gender you are, or race, or anything, because the fact is that if you have an idea, you have to follow it. We need all kinds of people doing science. That is how we become creative. Diversity is a really important message from all around the world that everybody is welcome to try to improve, to make questions, to do investigations and experiments. The most different pieces you are introducing in your group, the better is your group. Artists, people, uh, doctors, psychologists, lots of different people from different cultures and mixing them, getting them together. That is the key to evolution and to progress in scientific ways is to have different people from different backgrounds look at it and give it different insights. That's the perfect recipe, right?